This episode brought to you by Raycon. Head on over to buyraycon.com slash rogue and get 15% off your first order. They're earbuds and they're awesome. I'm still pissed. What's wrong? I'm still pissed over the meme of people reacting to Stranger Things saying like, I noticed there's a bunch of scenes in a red room. What happens with photographs in a red room? And I'm like, it's called a dark room and it's where you develop black and white photography. Are you kidding me? Or is it seventh grade year? I know all this stuff. Sorry, sorry, I'm dialing it back. Why don't they just use their phone? Like, do they have a phone that doesn't have a camera on it? Like a bunch of cavemen? You're one of them, it's fine. I feel like we're time traveling, but I don't know what time we're going back to. In the best version of this video, we do a long history of how photography was invented and by whom and by when or whatever. We don't even know when photographs were invented, but we do know that if you do a single pin prick, you have a pinhole camera, something yes. that pretty much accurately reflects what's on the outside world. That's the idea of what we have here. I've just got a shoebox, painted it black, taped up a bunch of the edges, still needs a little work. We've got our shutter right yep. here, which we'll have to peel open. There's a little bit of foil that we put on the inside and it's got a tiny pinhole in there. And the idea is the image comes through here, through that tiny pinhole, and is displayed on some photo paper that we're gonna put on this opposite wall here. It's basically a roughly in focus version of whatever's in front of it. The pinhole makes it such that you have to have a long exposure, but you'll get something relatively in focus, question mark? Yeah, exactly. Normally, with your camera, what happens is, depending on what kind of film or what kind of lens you have, opens very briefly just to make an impression. Like the light affects it and now that film is transformed. You later go develop the film, you get a negative, you use the negative to shoot light through that makes a positive on photo paper. We're skipping the film part. We're going straight to there's an image and there's photo paper. I just realized we're gonna have to do the old timey thing of like staying still for a very long time. Oh yeah. And that depends on how much light you have. We're gonna do it outside in full daylight. Even sideways, you can tell where we are. You can see the trees, you can see the clouds and there's no focusing, no nothing. It's just really bright outside and through that pinhole, you get the image. Camera obscura. How do we want to get our photo paper non overexposed and on the right spot. We are going to have to set up darkroom conditions. I've got just a bicycle light. Okay. And this type of light will not affect certain types of photo paper. So we can operate using this all right. to turn out all these other lights. Lights vanish. Oh man, this is like in Stranger Things. <laughs> the Red is Room. It, I, I is, swear to God, don't be one of those people. Is it the Demogorgon? <laughs> like, Dem, 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 the Mind Flayer? Stop, stop talking, stop talking. Modern day cameras, a little bit better with low sensitive light. The paper used for black and white photography is fairly resilient. That's why you can get away with a little bit of red light, right? Some of them will not react well with red light and it will ruin it, uh, but others are just fine. Well, and, and again, I, this and I know is, that film is just like, no, 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 you're in pitch black dark. That's yeah. how it's gotta go. And the distinction is important this is photographic paper, not film. Because I don't want to overexpose it, and because even now, as our eyes adjust to how much light is really in here, yeah. I'm gonna be cautious, and I'll open this, I'll take out four of these, mm -hmm. keep them in this box, so even though the, it's in the dark, they'll be shielded, and then what we don't know is how long of an exposure is the right amount. According to what I read, yeah. Uh, if you're doing it outside in broad daylight, about 30 seconds. Okay, so maybe we do a 20, 30, 40, 50. Sounds good. I'm pulling out one, two, three, four. I feel like I'm doing a magic routine. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four cards. Which one is your card? Okay, so I'm pulling them out of the bag and I'm setting them on top. I'm gonna flip this over and I put it in right here. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I have it right or not, but it's stuck in there. Okay. We have a loaded camera. Like I love how ball. we're treating it like a loaded gun. <laughs> like I'm carrying a bomb right now. Careful, careful. This seems to be exact opposite of the sun, so we should have plenty of light flooding on us. We just need somebody who is not us to open up the shutter and to time it. I guess what, we, we, we hit our mark and then, uh, here we go. Like, like a Beastie Boys, like we're looking in like, Let's get Bryce. Bryce. All right, 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Here we go. 18, 19, and 20. 
I'm not holding my arms up again. <laughs> no like wonder that. so many ghosts appeared in this 19th century. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, everyone's frozen and somebody walks in like, what are you guys doing? You're taking a, oh, you're taking a photo. Don't, don't worry. I'm just going to stay here long enough to look like a ghost. <laughs> and then off they go. So we're just going to transfer this photo into this dark box and replace I, it with another one. I'm going to put it inside the packaging that it came in. Okay. Because I don't want to mess it up. Here's yeah. the thing. I don't know if that double stick tape is going to mess things up. Here, you hold that there. All right. I'm going to pull this out. Careful. Oh, that double stick tape is really double sticky. Is it wrecking it? Maybe. That, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it definitely ripped off the box. That doesn't sound good. I guess at this point we could look. That's like, okay. Like that's the emulsion side, right? I guess. And that's the, that's definitely the back. Okay, whatever. The one with the tape on it is the 20 second one. <laughs> Great. I'm putting it in the box. We got to tape down another one. Yeah. Do you want to use the electrical tape this yeah, time? Yeah, I think that'll be better. All right. So I'm setting this one up. We'll close it up. Okay. Trial to what, 30 seconds? Uh, You want to do 30? Let's do 30. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, right as the sun went away, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Adam West carrying the bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it flap up. Okay. And the second one will go on top. So it'll be 20 second, 30 second, 40 second. Makes right? sense. I think we're good. Okay, quick, uh, in this thing. Uh, Come on, man. It's fine, we're in a dark room. Oof, pose I can hold for 40 seconds. Got it, ready. One, hold it, hold it, hold it, and... Nailed it. All right. All right, so end of episode. Yep, uh, well, that's let's it. just assume everything worked out great. Yeah, that's Throw how you make a camera. Timey filters on all of that and just say ragtime music. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna seal this up and to keep these safe, I'm yep. gonna put it in another box. So we got four photographs primed, ready to go, all locked away in hopefully total darkness. And I know that there's one solution that starts the paper developing and another one that says, hey, knock it off, that's enough. Yes, I prepped these earlier. Uh, smell that. Ooh, that's, uh, is that tea Earl Grey hot? Yeah, that's actually just mint. It's 10 grams of mint. Okay. Put into 200 milliliters of hot water. Let it steep for about 15 minutes, then strain it through a coffee strainer. And this is what we've got, basically a mint tea, right? Okay, and is is that, uh, I know it has something to do with acids and bases. Which team is this? Uh, this has uh, got caffeinate in it. Yeah. And that's what you want to start the uh, process. It's going to be an alkaline uh, solution. Alkaline, base, team yep. base. And okay. So we're going to pour that in there. And this is the second part. We're going to pour this in there as well. This is two 1,000 milligram capsules of vitamin C and 10 grams of baking soda. Some more alkaline and also no scurvy. What does the vitamin C have to do with anything? I don't know, man. Big deal. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, uh, the limey mixture. Good, that's what, they, sorry, that's, that's what you are to me, mixture. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Let all the bubbles get out, let it mix really well. Okay. I assume if an alkaline or a base starts it, then an acid stops it, question mark? Exactly, yeah. And that's what we have here. We have five milliliters of lemon juice mixed okay. with 200 milliliters of water. If I remember correctly from seventh grade, you got it started, you sort of eyeballed it, and you're like, yeah, that's enough, and then you put it in the stopping solution. Yeah, right? exactly. We're gonna put it in here for about two minutes, and after two minutes, if your photo isn't uh, developed well enough, do it for another two you minutes. You might have put it in backwards, and you're a big dumb dummy. Also, that yeah. could happen. Yeah. And then we're gonna rinse it off in here for about 30 seconds. Okay. And then uh, hang it up uh, to dry okay, over here. Okay, cool, but yeah. again, we have to do this in darkroom conditions. Sure. Oh boy, moment of truth. Yeah. Flap on top, it was 20, 30, 40, right? Correct. Which, which one you want to do first? Let's start with the 20. Okay, all right. Bottom most one, this is the 20 second the 20. one. Yeah. Okay. So we, we suspect that'll be the most difficult one. Okay. This is the one with the least amount of exposure, so it makes sense that we'd have to develop it the longest. What if we see an actual ghost behind Don't us? you do that, so. come on. This is not our Halloween episode. Mm. I'm just saying. This property, <laughs> and if we're using old analog photography, science has shown, not science, that ghosts are more likely to show science up. Science has shown it, that the soil of a man's heart is stonier, Lewis. Now shut the hell up and keep <laughs> developing. Maybe 
super sensitive science instruments can tell us what we're looking at there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on there except for that weird zigzag. I guess we're just crossing our fingers that it's really underdeveloped at this point. All right, here you go, sir. All right. Oh, all right, 30 second photo. Open a box, open a box, open a flap. Bottom most of the two that are in there. That's our 30 second one. Pulling it out in three, two, one. Closing box, closing box. We're in a dark room, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay. <gasps> no, I'm just Shut kidding. Sorry. Oh, God, you can't do that. You get <laughs> my heart so singing. So normally what would happen is you would have film that would be literally projected, like with an overhead projector. You know, you would, you'd lock it in, there'd be a light, and it would project the negative onto the paper, and you would do it for a second, two seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it was per the paper, right? And so that old crime trope of, can you enhance the image? Can you blow it up? Quite literally, all that meant was to just raise the thing up higher so that it went wider off the paper and the oh. paper happened to be sitting on the important part and you would try your best to get it in focus and then, you know, look at this. Now you just punch it in the computer and go beep, boop, boop. Yeah, no, you just say enhance. Yeah, oh, that's all, yeah. Enhance. <laughs> Into your mouse. Enhance. <laughs> this makes me very glad that we did the 40 second version. Yeah. I mean, that could be it where we just need to expose it a lot longer since it's not direct. There's something appearing on this side, but it doesn't appear like anything to be anything that we want. Oh man, I, for a second, I thought you were about to say something appearing, but it's like nothing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Last photo, the most exposed of them all. 40 seconds. I am so happy that we did multiple versions oh, of the yeah. test. No, that was a good call. Because if this last one comes out the best, then I say we do like a full, if it takes two minutes, however long, and, and we do total old timey photo. Yes. Like as if, yes. as if we're the ghosts from the original property. I like it. Man, photography's bullshit. <laughs> These are phones. Man, I don't know, we're at what, five minutes now? Yeah. Uh, I guess call it. Because if I remember correctly, they they kind of continued to develop a little bit even after yeah. the stop math. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This was the lowest amount of exposure time. 20 oh, seconds. Look at this. Like it mattered where the- Oh, where the pin, clothespins Yeah, were. exactly. Can't really tell what's going on there, I right? I think I can. I think that if you reversed it, you would see very clearly, this is the oak tree. This is the tree line uh, all down. This is the sky. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know how much digital enhancement we'd have to do, but I think this is your face. But th those are definitely the trees, right? Those are the trees, without question, yeah. I was afraid that those were just like puddles of the solution collecting or something like that. <gasps> oh my God, I see it now, hold on. Your leg, uh, your leg, my leg, my leg. I'm gonna snap a photo and we're gonna look at it inverted. Oh, oh do you see it now? Yes. Oh my God, you, yeah, you see, yeah. you see legs and you see the two of us. You can see my glasses, my hairline. Wow, okay, we're on, we're, we're, we're on to something. We're on the right track. Okay, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, I got a good feeling about this one. Look at that. You can clearly see legs, feet. Yeah, so horizons here. Yep. Oak trees are up here. Body with the face, body with the face. Yep, yep, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look, look at that. That's definitely us. Mm hmm. Okay, now we've got 40. And this one, we were standing farther back. Yeah, you could see us right there. Yeah. Yeah, you could see the ground, mm -hmm. you can see the horizon, you can see the oaks, vague shapes, and you can see the two of us. When you invert it, it's. I'd say plain as day. That might be a bit generous. So, what do you think the right amount of time is? I think we've got to do it like for like a solid 90 seconds. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Something like that? I say if we're going to do it, we're going to do one photo, just one, 90 seconds. 
We gotta get it a character. We gotta get it a costume. Giddy up. Do it. Guys. Guys, I said action. We're we're rolling. Right? Guys, you're supposed to be talking about Raycons. Yeah, the new everyday E25 earbuds. So come on, let's They're the best ones they got and they want to hear about it. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, a more compact design that gives you a nice snu guys, guys, they give you a nice noise isolating fit. Oh wow wow, you video the VA. Guys! You gotta tell our audience to click on the link below to get 15% off your order. They, they gotta go to buyraycon.com slash robe for 15% off. Guys, they're earbuds. Sorry. Oh, it's it's it's, it's time for the ads. Oh, okay. Uh, today's episode's uh, brought to you by Raycon. 15% uh, off your first order. Head on over to buyraycon.com slash rogue. Cut. Offer and link in the description below. As a little addendum, here's what happened to each of the photos we took after about three hours. I've never developed film or photo paper myself, but my guess is that this was due to a combination of our chemicals being ineffective and us not having a proper wash after the stopping bath, which may have allowed light to continue reacting with the paper until becoming fully washed out. 